How's it going, everybody? My name is Salty, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the best 1911 class setup, along with the Rat Tail Blueprint available to you in the Battle Pass. So as you can see on the screen right here, this is what the blueprint looks like. There's really not much to cover. They released some other blueprints they actually had to buy in the shop with this kind of scheme. Pretty ugly in my opinion, but it's a blueprint nonetheless. Let's get right into those attachments. Comes right on the blueprint here, the agency suppressor. You get 8% vertical recoil control, which is important when you see what barrel we're running. It does kick quite a bit. And the ability to stay off the map hidden, which is also important if you want to go on some long streaks and get a nuke. Down to the barrel, the task force for 12% extra damage, 40% effective damage range, and 120% bullet velocity. This does give it a significant kick if you plan on spamming the weapon, but it really does up that damage. It makes people die extremely quickly if you hit your shots. Sliding to the body, the 5 milliwatt laser hip fire accuracy is extremely important while dual wielding weapons, and you get an added 35% here. For the magazine, the 14 round fast mag, you don't really need to worry about the negative of aim down sight time. Since you're dual wielding them, you're not going to be aiming down the sights. Therefore, there's no reason to not maximize the ammo capacity and give you the ability to reload quickly. And in the stock category, this is where you'll find the dual wield attachment. Uh, really not much needed to say here. This is the only attachment in the stock category. The 1911s used to be my favorite secondary to run. They were extremely good, but they did receive a quite a significant nerf in season two. So therefore it's probably not the best you can run, but they're still extremely fun. Nonetheless, especially if you're up close and personal with people, probably kills faster than shotguns if we're gonna be 100% honest. And this is my updated class setup. Make sure you let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to the channel, would like to find your way back for more videos just like this one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me as we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button, because that's the most effective way to support the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I do like that you can inspect weapons now. When you're just sitting here. I'll get the kid upstairs. Whoa, 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 whoa! I lost all the aim assist! My, my sharp pistols went in the air, he's still upstairs. Dang, dude, I'm getting smoked. Wait, I was standing next to a teammate and there was an enemy with us. I'm getting smoked. Normally this is my best pistol to use. I'm getting just destroyed. I can't hit that guy. Losing C. Yeah, see? No. I need to get more kills. You're going crazy. Dude, I'm getting absolutely walloped. Just... I only have 10 kills, 30 points in. Wait, they just spawned behind me. Not the Mac 10 kid for me. Let's 
a 74U kid for me. Dude, teammate just scared the piss out of me. The problem with the 1911s is I can't push back into their spawn when they're camping there. There's two kids. There was two kids back there. She's still back there. My man is still sitting in the spawn. I know I'm gonna go to C and they're gonna flip. I got a heart. But yeah, the back there, the 74U kid just smoked me again. I don't think he has a 74U anymore. Um, Yeah, that's the hardest part of the 1911s. If they go sit in the spawn, I can't do anything. It's hard, though. If they don't move, it's hard. They really did nerf these 1911s pretty bad. At like hip fire accuracy wise. I have 50 kills, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of playing like crap. I just keep running back and forth. I literally just keep running back and forth. You actually didn't waste your harp. Like it ran, ended up running out before the round ended, so it wasn't a waste. I almost got cross map tomahawked. I just got insta killed, bro. Like, insta. Oh, you can't get more than one kill with this thing. Was, I'm just walking into kids and insta dying. I'm struggling. I've gotten a nuke with dual wields and solo 1911. I just stuck a grenade to your back.
Oh my god, I'm getting chased into the next entry. Leave me alone! This kid didn't have ammo, really? I don't know where they're going to spawn. Dang it, man. This M177, 1778 kills killed me. I was on a 19. He has spent every paycheck he's got on bundles. How does that feel, death machine? Yeah, how did that go? Good job, bro. Wait, I'm on a 21 again? What the heck? When did that happen? I'm out of ammo. I had to use my LC-10. I'm dead. I died on a 26. Hundred and twenty? Dude, I guess like can I complain? No. I can't complain. 120 is a lot of kills with pistols. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.